now we'll continue the problems on locus okay so the next problem is the ends of hypotenuse of a right angle triangle are 0 comma 6 and 6 comma 0 find the equation of locus of its third vertex so here hypotenuse of a right angle triangle so first what we do we, we draw a right angle triangle so right angle triangle the ends of hypotenuse is given the ends of hypotenuse are 0 comma 6 6 comma 0 So zero comma six and six comma zero. This is A and this is B. Right angle at P now. Now we are we have to assume the locus of a point as x comma y. That locus of a point will become the right angle. The right angle at which the vertex is P. So this is P. Now we assume that. Let P is equal to x comma y be the locus of a point. Then after that, what is A? A is zero comma six and B is six comma zero. Okay. Now it is a right angle triangle. So whenever we have a right angle triangle, we apply Pythagoras theorem because locus means it satisfies certain condition. Here the condition is nothing but Pythagoras theorem. So according to the right angle triangle. If we apply Pythagoras theorem, the longest side square, longest side is nothing but AB. AB square is equal to AB square plus PB square. AB square plus PB square. Okay. Now we find the distance between the points. Now first it is AB. So find out the distance. It is zero minus six whole square. That means x two minus x one whole square. Plus y2 minus y1 whole square. That is 6 minus 0 whole square is equal to AP. What is AP? It is x minus 0 whole square plus y minus 6 whole square. Okay. Now we find out the distance between two points PB. So what is PB? It is x minus 6 whole square plus Y minus zero whole square. Okay, this is PB square. Now what we do is we simplify. Zero minus six is six. Six square is thirty six plus thirty six. Okay, thirty six plus thirty six is equal to x minus zero is x. So just write x square plus this is a minus b whole square. A square minus multiply this with two. Two is a twelve y. Twelve y plus thirty six. Okay. Then after that, x minus x whole square will expand. X square minus twelve x plus thirty six. X square minus twelve x plus thirty six plus y minus zero is y square as it is. Okay. Now we expand it. After expansion, uh, we have some cancellations here. So thirty six is equal to thirty six. We can cancel. And again, thirty six is equal to thirty six. We cancel. After cancellation, we we'll simplify this one. X square plus x square is 2x square. Y square plus y square will become 2y square. See the order of writing is x square term, y square term, then x term. This is minus 12x. Then y term minus 12y. And we don't have any other constants. All the constants, whatever we have, we got cancelled. So put is equal to zero. Okay. So now clearly we can take two common throughout this equation. So if I take two common, x square plus y square minus six x minus six y is equal to zero. And no need to write the common two which we have taken. The reason is on the RHS we are writing zero. Okay. So no need to write the common term. So what is the equation of locus? We got x square plus y square minus six x minus six y is equal to zero. Okay, so this problem is completed. So next problem, uh, find the equation of locus of a point difference of whose distance from minus pi comma zero and pi comma zero is eight units. So here, difference of distance. Difference means for subtraction. So. Uh, First, we write 
Next, e is equal to x comma y be any point. Then after that, we represent the first point as a. It is minus phi comma zero, and b is equal to phi comma zero. Okay. So now the difference of those distance is a. Now from where is finding the difference of distance? Is finding the difference of distance from the locus of a point. That means p a minus p b is equal to a. That is a condition. That means difference of whose distance is a. That means what is given p a minus p b is equal to a. So that is a condition. Okay. Now what we do is what is p a from this? p a is equal to a plus p b. One of the term we transpose on the other side. Then square them on both sides. So what we get? See, we get p a square is equal to a plus p b whole square. Okay. Now we we'll expand this a plus p b whole square. So that is p a square is equal to a square is sixty four. A square plus b square plus two ab. That means two ab are sixteen. Pb. Okay, we expanded this. After expanding, now I just substitute. I just substitute the what is p and b. What is p a? It is x two minus x one whole square. So that is x plus y whole square plus y minus zero whole square. Y minus zero whole square is equal to sixty four as we see. What is p a square? It is x plus y whole square plus y minus zero whole square is equal to sixty four plus p b square. What is p b square? Distance between p and b. That is x minus y whole square plus y minus zero whole square. P b square. After p b square, we have sixteen p b. Okay, that sixteen p b I write as this. See. Here we have to find out the distance between two points P. No doubt we have to find out. But we write this as it is. After simplifying these terms, I'll find out the distance between two points P. Now for the time being, we just write P D as this. Now we simplify this term. Okay. So we get x squared plus 10x plus 25 plus y squared. Okay. X squared plus 2 pi r 10x and 25. Y minus zero is y. Y square as this is equal to sixty four plus x square minus ten x plus twenty five. We are expanding this plus y square plus sixteen p b as this. Right now here we have a cancellation again. X square is equal to x square. Y square is equal to y square. We can cancel. After cancellation, after cancellation, what we do? See, we have ten x. Write this ten x as this. Do we have any x terms? Yes, we have here. It is minus ten x. Transpose to the other side. It will become plus ten x. Then constant. See here, twenty five is equal to twenty five. We can cancel. So what is the constant we left? It is sixty four. Transpose to the other side. It will become. Minus sixty four is equal to sixteen p b. Okay, now we we'll simplify this. So ten x plus ten x, ten x plus ten x will become twenty x minus sixty four is equal to sixteen p b. Okay, now see we can take common. That means see twenty and sixty four. I take four common. So if I take four common, four goes how many times in twenty? Five times. So right, five x. Four goes how many times in sixty four? It goes sixteen times. So we took four common is equal to sixteen p b as it is. Sixteen p b as it is. So four ones are and four fours are we cancel. Now what we have is five x minus sixteen is equal to four p b. Right. Now what we do is, I square them on both sides. Why again you have to square them on both sides? The reason is, you have PB. PB means we find a distance between two points PB. Whenever we find a distance between two points PB, we get a square root. To eliminate the root, we 
we are squaring them on both sides. So if we square them on both sides, what we get it is 5x minus 16 whole square is equal to 16 pd square. Okay. Now what I do is I will substitute what is pd now. Okay. Then it is 5x minus 16 whole square is equal to 16 into what is pd? Substitute that pd. It is x minus 5 whole square plus y minus 0 whole square. Okay. It is x minus 5 whole square plus y minus 0 whole square. I am finding the distance between p and b. Now what we do? We will simplify this. I will expand this. a minus b whole square. k square. 25 x square. It is 25 x square. 5 whole square. Then minus 2 a b. 2 5s are 10. 10 into 16 is 160x. 2 a b. 2 5s are 10. 10 into 16 is 160x. Plus 16 square is 256 is equal to 16 into. We will expand that x minus 5 whole square. It is x square minus 10x plus 25 plus y square. Okay. Now 25 x square minus 160x plus 256 is equal to multiply with 16. So what we get? 16 x square minus 160x plus 25 into 16 we have to do is 400. 16 pi's are 80. Yeah, it is 400 plus 16 y square. I will write 16 y square. Okay. I multiply it. This 16x square, then 160 minus 160x, then 16 into 25 is 400, 16 into y square is 16y square. Okay, now we have to simplify. See, again, minus 160x is equal to minus 160x, we can cancel. After cancellation, we simplify. See, first, we simplify x square terms. That means 25x square minus 16x square. Now, y square terms. So, only one y square we have, that on the other side, transpose this side. It will become minus 16y square is equal to constants. That means the terms without x and y are called constants, we transpose to the other side. That means already we have a 400. Transpose this to 56, we get minus 256. Okay, now we simplify this. So, 25x square minus 16x square is 9x square minus 16y square is equal to 400 minus 256 is 144. So, this is the required equation of locus. So, this is very very important problem. Okay, we will we'll do uh, this type of problem. The next problem is uh, similar to this one. So, we will do it now. So, uh, the next problem, uh, find the equation of locus of a point. The difference of whose distance from a 4 comma 0 and b minus 4 comma 0, okay, and b minus 4 comma 0, at the condition they are given, p a minus p b is equal to 4, okay. So this is the condition, p a minus p b is equal to 4. So what is a? a is 4 comma 0 and b is minus 4 comma 0. Now, already the condition is given the problem, so I will just write it. It has given. What is given? Mod of Pa minus Pb is equal to 4. Okay. Now, we will remove the mod. So, when we remove mod, we write it as Pa minus Pb is equal to plus r minus 4. Okay. When you remove mod, you write plus r minus 4. Now, what is Pa? Pa is plus r minus 4 plus Okay, plus r minus 4 plus 3. Now, square them on both sides. So, what we get? Pa square is equal to plus r minus 4 plus 3b whole square. Okay, see, no need to get confused about this plus r minus. Okay, just write plus r minus 4. Now, we expand. When we expand, see, suppose, what is the value of minus 4 whole square? It is 16. And what is 4 square? Again, it is 16. So, now, when I square plus r minus 4, 
just write 16. Okay, no need to write any assignments. So here, P A square is equal to A square plus B square plus 2 A. Just write A P B. Okay, just write plus A P B. Then, what is P A square? Distance between these two points. It is X minus 4 whole square plus Y minus 0 whole square. Distance between P and A is equal to 16 as it is and P B square. It is X plus 4 whole square plus y minus 0 whole square. P B square is x plus 4 whole square plus y minus 0 whole square. Plus 8 P B you write as it is. 8 P B. Okay, now what we do? We expand. So we we'll expand this. x minus 4 whole square we expand. So if I expand, I get x square minus 8x plus 16. x square minus 8x plus 16 y minus 0 is y, just write y squared plus y squared is equal to 16 as it is and x minus 4 whole square I am expanding. So what I get is x squared plus 8x plus 16 plus y squared plus 8pb as it is. So we expand. So after expansion, some cancellations will be there. So, x square is equal to x square cancel, y square is equal to y square cancel and 16 is equal to 16 also you can cancel. After cancellation, we write whatever we have. We have minus 8x is equal to, is equal to 8x plus 16 plus 8b, right? So, after this what we do is minus 8x minus 8x and minus 16 is equal to 8p okay it is 8p then after that minus 16x then minus 16 is equal to 8pb so we take minus 16 common we get x plus 1 if you have taken minus 16 common we get x plus 1 is equal to 8pb so we can cancel here 8 1s are and 8 2s are. So we get minus 2 into x plus 1 is equal to pb. Right? Now we square them on both sides. So if we square them on both sides, we get minus 2 square is 4. See, minus 2 square is 4 into x plus 1 whole square is equal to pb square. Right? Now we expand this. So 4 into a square plus 2ab plus b square is equal to pb square. 4 into x square plus 2x plus 1 is equal to pb square. So next line, what we do is see, we multiply. Okay, we multiply. So 4x square plus 8x plus 4 is equal to pb square. We find the distance between p and b. It is x plus 4 whole square it is x plus 4 whole square plus y minus 0 whole square whole square ok so it is 4x square plus 8x plus 4 is equal to x square plus 8x plus 16 a plus b whole square expansion plus y minus 0 is y square right so now here we can cancel plus 8x and plus 8x. After cancellation, regroup the terms. That is 4x square minus x square. Then y square term will transpose minus y square is equal to numbers on the other side, constants on the other side. Already we have 16 here. Transpose 4 on the other side, we get minus 4. So it is 3x square minus y square is equal to 12. Is a required equation of locus. Okay, this is complicated. Right. See now you try this problem. Okay. See, find the equation of locus of a point, the sum of whose distances from 0, 2 and 0, 2 is 6. Here, sum of whose distance is given. See, just I will give a hint so that you can continue. So first you assume 
और p is equal to x का माप y, a is zero का माप u and b को अधिक मास zero का माप minus u. So these are the given points. Now the condition we am given. So what is given? Sum of whose distance? That means p a plus p b is given as six. Then after that what you do? P a is equal to six minus p b. You write. Okay. After this. Square them on both sides and continue. Same as the previous problem. Okay, you try this one. So next problem. A y comma three and b three comma minus two are two fixed points. Find the equation of locus of P so that the area of triangle P A B is nine square inches. Okay. See here, area of triangle. This draw one triangle. Represent as P A B. So, what is area of triangle P A B with nine square inches? So, using that area of triangle, that is using that area of triangle as a condition, we have to find out the equation of locus. Okay. So now, first, we will assume let P is equal to x comma y be any point of locus, and what is A given? It is y comma b, and b is three comma minus two. Right. Now, area of triangle when three vertices are given. So then, what the geometry tells me is, we can write down here. See, area we denote with delta. Area we denote with delta. Okay, delta is equal to half mod. See, you write x into y minus y. Three times y. X into y minus y. X into y minus y. We are writing how many times? Three times. So now, how many vertices are there for a triangle? We have three vertices. Okay. So three vertices are there, right? One, two, three. In a cyclic order, or in a clockwise direction. Now, using the clockwise direction, we represent the points. That means we write one, two, three. See, we started from one. One, two, three. Then now we start with two. Two, three, one. Two. Three one. Next we are starting with two. That is two three one. Now we we'll start with three. Three one two. Ready? Right three one two. Okay. This is the logic of writing the formula. Okay. So after writing the formula, now this is x one y one. P is x one y one. X two y two. X three y three. And substitute this area of triangle. And one more important point you remember is this line is. Area of triangle that means instead of delta you write nine is equal to half mod. Now we substitute. What is x one? It is x into y two minus y three. That is three plus two. Y two minus y three. Three plus two plus x two into y three minus y one. Y three minus y one. I'm substituting y three minus y one. Then plus x3, x3 is 3 into y1 minus y2, y1 minus y2, y1 minus y2. Okay, we substitute. After substituting, we will simplify this. So cross multiply. Two nines are 80 is equal to mod 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 into x, 5x. You can write 5x. This you have to multiply. Minus 10 minus 5y. Plus 3y minus 9 multiplied with 3 multiplied with 5. Now we'll simplify this. 5x as it is minus 2y again because minus 5y plus 3y is minus 2y. Minus 10 minus 9 is minus 19. Is it equal to 80? You write on the right side. Instead of writing left side, I'm writing on the right side. Now remove the mod. That means 5x minus 2y minus 19 is equal to Plus or minus 18. Okay, plus or minus 18. Now we have two cases in this. So what are those two cases? One is 5x minus 2y minus 19 is equal to 18. Or 5x minus 2y minus 19 is equal to minus 18. Plus or minus I'm splitting. So the next step is what we get is 5x minus 2y. Minus 19 minus 18. It is 
minus 37 is equal to 0. Transpose the second on the other side. Minus 18. So minus 19 minus 18 minus 37 is equal to 0. Or 5x minus 2y minus 19 plus 18 plus minus 1 is equal to 0 is the equation of logos or the same result you can represent like this that is represent them in a you represent them in a product that means the answer is like this 5x minus 2y minus 37 into 5x minus 2y minus 1 is equal to 0 so this is the required equation of locus so this is coming see now a similar problem uh, based on area of triangle please try this problem a 1 comma 1 b minus 2 comma 3 are two fixed points find the equation of locus of p so that area of triangle p is 2 square inches so it is a similar problem so please try this problem okay so next problem if the distance of p from the points 2 comma 3 2 comma minus 3 are in the ratio 2 is to 3 then find the equation of locus of p. Now here the condition is given in terms of ratio. So what is ratio? Ratio is nothing but a division. So here we must be denote them. That means let p is equal to we assume as x comma y. And what is a? A is 2 comma b and b is 2 comma minus 3. So these are the points we are assuming. Since ratio is nothing but a division, we write like this PA, this is a given condition. What is given? PA by PB is equal to 2 by 2. See, what is the ratio given? 2 is to 3. So, ratio is nothing but division. So, we write it as PA by PB is equal to 2 by 3. Just cross multiply 3PA is equal to 2P. 3PA is equal to 2P. Now square them on both sides. Why we are squaring them on both sides? Because PA is nothing but distance between two points. But when we find the distance between two points, we get a square root. So to eliminate the root in the beginning itself, we square them on both sides. So if we square them on both sides, we get 9PA square is equal to 4P square. Okay. Now 9 into what is PA square? It is Distance between P and A. So I will substitute now. So what we get is x minus 2 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square is equal to 4 into PB square. It is x minus 2 whole square plus y plus 3 whole square. Okay. This is the distance between two points. Now we will expand. Let me see. 9 has these x square minus 4x plus 4 ok expansion of x minus 4 whole square plus y square minus 6y plus 9 ok we expand z equal to 4 into x square minus 4x plus 4 plus y square plus 6y plus 9 so totally we expand after expanding what we do is this term we multiply with 9 and RHS we multiply with 4 so now we multiply. So that is start multiplying with 9. So we get 9x squared minus 9 holds of 36x. 9x squared minus 36x. Okay. Now uh, what I do is see 9 holds of 36. Then 9 into y squared, 9 y squared. Then 9 into minus x is minus 54y. Minus 54y, then 9 lines are 81. 81 is equal to multiply with 4. 4x square minus 16x. 4x square minus 16x. Then after that, plus 16 plus 4y square. Plus 16 plus 4y square. Plus 24y plus 36. Plus 24y plus 36. So we multiply completely. After multiplying, just check uh, if the cancellation is out. Yeah, we have one cancellation that is 36 is equal to 36. That's all. Yes. Now we will simplify this one. Okay. So first you write 9x square. 
So do you have any other x squared term? Yes, we have our x squared term, 4x squared, transpose on the other side, minus 4x squared. Then y squared terms, plus 9y squared is equal to 4y squared we have, that is nothing but 9y squared minus 4y squared. Okay, then after that x terms, minus 36x plus 16x, minus 36x plus 16x. Okay, now y terms, that is minus 54y minus 24y. Minus 54y minus 24y. Then constants. So what are the constants we have here? 81 we have on LHS and on the other side we have 16. So minus 16 is equal to 0. Now we we'll simplify this. So we get 5 x squared plus 5y squared minus 20 is. Minus 36x plus 16x is minus 20 is. And minus 54y minus 24y is minus 78y. Then 81 minus 16 is. 81 minus 16 is uh, 65 is equal to 0. This is the equation of locus. So this is also complete. So now one more problem you can do. I will just give a hint so that you can continue with this problem. Okay. See now A, B, C are three points given and a point P moves such that the condition is given to P A square plus P B square is equal to 2 P C square. Then you have to show that the locus of the equation is 7x minus 7y plus 2 is equal to 0. That means using this condition, what should be the answer or what should be the result you have to get? 7x minus 7y plus 4 is equal to 0. So just I will just I'll give a hint to you. So first you assume P as is comma, right? And the given points A is 1 comma 2 and what is B? 2 comma minus 2. After writing this, just write given. What is given? P A square plus P B square is equal to 2 B C square. Right? After that, P A square, this term between P and A, that is x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square. And what is P B square? It is x minus 2 whole square plus y plus 3 whole square. Right? This term between two points is equal to 2 pc square, right? 2 as b is into pc square, p and c distance. So, the points is minus 2 comma 3. So, distance between p and c, that is x plus 2 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square, right? Now, what you have to do is, you expand this, okay? On RHS also, you expand this. After expanding, multiply with 2 and simplify, you should get that equation. Okay, try this problem. So, this completes the first chapter locus. Okay, so try this problem. So, next class we will start the other chapter.